Hello, in this short video I would like to show how to use the integrated camera and microphone equipment in Lecture Hall 2 in Building 22A of the Otto von Gericke University in Magdeburg for lecture recordings or for hybrid teaching formats. So, of course, I've brought my laptop here and at the moment I'm looking into the internal camera and I'm also speaking into this internal microphone. Uh, the microphone that this lecture hall is equipped with is this um, wireless microphone. So I will switch to this in a second. And it's called uh, Microphone Web Presenter HD in Zoom. And this sounds like this. Now um, switch has, uh, Zoom has once again switched on the compression and noise cancelling, so I will switch to the original audio, uh, which is called audio for musicians, for, for reasons I don't know. Um, and I don't know if this sounds better or not, I will hear it on the recording. So now I will show you, I want to show you the, the camera inside the lecture hall, so I will switch to the rear camera of my laptop. And there you can see I've brought a second camera uh, here, which I will turn on later. And the integrated camera in this lecture hall is up there, um, slightly below the projector, and the camera we will be using is the right one of those. And before I switch to, the, to this camera, I will once again activate my front camera and show you, you need this remote control, which is somewhere here in the lecture hall, to um, control this camera. So let's switch to this integrated lecture camera, which is also called Web Presenter HD in Zoom. And then the original setting is like this. It shows the backside of the projector and not the person here. So I need to bring it down a little bit and to the right side. Uh, until it looks in my direction and then there is also a zoom button, a fast zoom and there's also a um, slower zoom which allows for very gradual zooming let's say and uh, yeah with this view I can show you the connections here a little bit so there's an HDMI cable connected to, to the output of my laptop which brings the um, um, screen of my laptop to the projection screen there and which also brings the audio of my laptop to the speakers integrated in the projector and there is the second cable there is the USB cable and with via this USB cable I get the image from this camera and I also also get the audio from this microphone and so as you can see it's very nice uh, it's a very nice camera image it's very clear audio from my point of view uh, the only drawback maybe is the perspective of this camera because it's mounted uh, very close to the ceiling of this room. So if I want to look in this camera, I have to unnaturally look upwards. And if I look into the audience inside the room, of course there is no audience here at the moment, um, then I cannot look into this camera. So if I look to the um, lower end of this lecture to the to the top there um, still the camera is quite far away and the perspective of this camera for the zoomies for the remote attendees is from my point of view quite unusual so I would always suggest and I will switch to this camera um, which is here in front of me some OBS bot tracking camera which I have mounted on a tripod um, in the first row here inside this lecture hall so that the camera is between me and the audience in the room. And it's a tracking camera so I can with some gesture enable tracking um, so that it follows me while I'm walking through the room. There is also um, a zoom option uh, with a gesture where it zooms in. And the advantage from my point of view of this camera is that if I stand here, I can look onto my screen, I can look into the camera, and even if I look into the audience inside the room, which I would of course do most often in the middle rows, in the top rows, in the lower rows, always I can like with one eye look into the camera and with second eye look to the audience in the room, the perspective for the zoomies is not that unnatural as this 
bird's perspective from the ceiling of uh, the lecture hall where no, um, where, where no student would look like this. And so the last thing, just for comparison, just for me, I would like to switch um, to this microphone here. It's another wireless microphone from DJI, um, quite, uh, quite an expensive one. And so let's switch to this. And now once again, uh, Zoom has disabled the original audio. So I will enable it once again to make it sound maybe a little better. Yeah, and so I think this is very nice equipment. Last thing that I would like to show, and for this I will switch back to the integrated camera, the Web Presenter HD, this one, and zoom a little bit out so that you can see the whole lecture hall and also the projection screen. Then it's of course also possible to, via this HDMI cable, uh, to share the screen, to show something here on the screen. So I will start sharing my screen and just show the website of the university. Um, or of course, you could also show here the camera windows of the Zoomies if you would like to discuss with them and if they turn on their camera. So overall, let me switch back to my internal front camera. So overall, I think it's a, it's a very nice and very useful equipment, which is very intuitive to use. You just need to connect an HDMI cable and a USB cable to your computer, and there, then you are ready to go. The, the only maybe little drawback is that the perspective of this camera mounted to the ceiling of the lecture hall is quite unusual and not so pleasing for the, um, for the remote attendees, for the Zoomies.